Well, I come from Minnesota, which is the land of 10,000 lakes. There's a deep and long conservation heritage, environmental heritage in my state. We pride ourselves on that. <laughs> In the United States, we have this great tradition of states playing the role in the so-called laboratories of democracy, and that's certainly happening in the area of clean energy and greenhouse gas emissions. One of the things I see that's really coming together here in Minnesota now is we are looking at what others have been doing, learning from that, and putting together the right pieces of the puzzle. Well, clearly it takes uh, political leadership to set an agenda. <laughs> and Governor Pawlenty has been a strong proponent of environmental technology, a very strong uh, supporter of the use of biodiesel. What's biofuels? <laughs> okay, all you know, those liquid fuels made out of biomass. We try to uh, grow algae to see which one produces a lot of oil. So the main advantage of this using algae because it does not compete with food. If you use this, you know, wastewater to grow this algae, you can also help clean up this wastewater. Algae is very efficient in utilizing the CO2. It can actually reduce a lot of the greenhouse gas CO2 in the air. The public transit service here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, is committed to reducing the the greenhouse gas emissions. One of the things that we've been talking about are hybrid electric buses and this type of vehicle gets 26 percent better fuel mileage. It produces 90 percent fewer emissions than the buses in our fleet that they'll replace. We wanted to prove their technology in our operating environment here. We've got some pretty harsh winters, some pretty cold temperatures. It's not black smoke belching out of tailpipes any longer. You want to be good to the environment by thinking about sharing a ride. We want to be good to the environment while you're riding with us. And we're starting to see communities saying as we plan our energy future and, and think about our community values, they're pitching in and adopting greenhouse gas emission goals. There's a light rail line being planned for the a corridor between downtown St. Paul and downtown Minneapolis. No pollution from the train itself, it operates on electricity and about 15% of the energy comes from renewable sources. There's just an explosion of interest in solar energy. We can add solar energy into the mix and affect it in, an, in a way that can be tied to the light rail just to push that train down the tracks. The train is energy efficient and sensitive to the environment and buses are as well. So this is a lot of interest right now from both the federal government and the state government and also for a lot of local industries. I'm part of a kind of a groundswell to make it happen. Well, I think it starts with us as individuals. You know, everybody can do some things individually to use energy more wisely.